Hello everyone. Um, this time we're going to look at um, qualitative analysis of ammonium ferrous sulfate. Uh, this is um, likely to be the possible the possible um, tests that you're likely to see in the uh, forthcoming exam that is YEC 2022. In the question they say that you are expected to analyze ammonium ferrous sulfate. And in this video I'm going to analyze the first possible uh, question you are likely to expect. And in the second video I'm going to show how um, another um, possible way of analyzing this this uh, the same uh, compound or salt. So in this case, you look at here the tests here. The first test here we add C to water and shake. Then after shaking, you divide into uh, four portions. When you add to water, what you will the observation is likely to be you notice light yellow, light yellow solution. Meaning that the salt is soluble. Now, yeah, like the solution, um, solution soluble in in water. Soluble in water. Since it's soluble in water, it simply means that the ions that are likely to be there is likely to be the soluble ions of this ammonia and perhaps sodium they are likely to be present and being colored means that um, likely to be present means that um, transition ions transition ions also are likely to be there ions like such as such as ion 2 ion 3 and ion 3 they are likely to be present present because they are the the salt is colored because we know that colored ions is one of the characteristics of transition L L elements ions because of their d group now the next one we have the, the first portion from our, um, from the solution. The first portion of the solution we add we add the dilute hydrochloric and um, sulfuric acid. We add dilute sulfuric acid, and then you add potassium uh, chromate. Potassium chromate. What you observe there is green. The orange color. Orange color of uh, potassium dichromate, potassium dichromate, we turn turns turns green. So when you add that, you notice that the orange color will turn green, which means that the C compound C is what is reducing. Reducing agents. Reducing agents. Being a reducing agent, C is a reducing agent. Being a reducing, a reducing agent is likely to be ion 2, ammonia ion, ammonia ion, ammonia ion, or something like iodine ion, likely, likely present. Because these are some of the um, reducing agents that we might, um, we might count on. So the next one we have here, you add the second portion from what we got from here. You add sodium hydroxide, and then you heat gently. When you heat gently, one thing I want to put uh, pass across to you here is that all ammonium salts, when heated with base or alkaline, Libres ammonia. So for that reason, when you add this thing to that place, 
As for him, I don't say to it. The observation, you're, what you're going to notice is dirty, dirty green, gelatinous EPT that's precipitates. And then when you warm, on warming, you notice uh, you notice uh, a gas, a colorless gas, colorless, colorless gas, pungent, pungent smell that turns, which turns red, red litmus paper. It means paper blue. That turns red, it means paper blue. So the gas that the only gas that can do this is ammonia. The only gas that can do this. That means since it turns red in good paper um, blue, it means that ammonia likely likely presents. And because of the, the dirty green color is as a result of, it's it likely to be um, a result of what? Ion 2 ions, which is likely to be present there too. Because Ion 2 is always, will always give you dirty gelatinous, gelatinous, uh, gelatinous precipitates whenever it, um, ammonium, dilute ammonia solution is added to it. So the next one we have there, the next test we are going to carry out there, we are likely to expect in this exam is, we come over to the next one, that is the fourth one, the first test, fourth test. Dip a glass rod into dilutes SEL and then you place it on the gas giving off giving off what we notice here once the uh, dilute hydrochloric acid or corn hydrochloric acid as the case may be in the gas, hydrogen chloride gas. Once you, you get it in contact with the gas that is coming out there, what you notice is that dense, dense white, white fume, dense white fumes, this confirms ammonium, ammonium ion, ammonium gas also confirmed. All right, the next one, the next test we have there, since we are now we'll be able to get the, this is the possible way, and in some cases, you can also, you can also um, confirm the presence of ammonia with the test, with red liquid paper, because ammonia is the only gas that can give turn red liquid paper blue. Any other gases, is either they are neutral or they are acidic. To liquid paper, but this only gas, this this uh, ammonia is only gas that can turn red liquid paper uh, to blue. So the next one we're doing here, we're going to test again. Remember, we divided our solution into four portions. The next portion we have, then to the next portion. To the next portion, that is the. The next portion is the, the third portion. Third portion. We add, we 
add aqueous ammonia. Aqueous ammonia. In drops, then excess. Our observation is dirty green gelatinous precipitates insoluble. Insoluble in excess. Insoluble in excess. This confirms the presence of um, ion, ion two, ion two ion. That is ion two confirmed. Now this similar test can also be uh, carried out with sodium hydroxide because if you notice that when we get to this point in uh, when we want to test for the ammonia, we discover that in addition of ammonia, um, in addition of sodium, dilute sodium hydroxide, you notice the dirty uh, gelatinous, pre gel gelatinous precipitate which is formed. If this continues, if you control in large analysis, you notice that you have the same similar, um, similar test there, or observation, and then you can as well use it to confirm it. But in this case now, um, Ammonia is what we use here to really confirm it. The next one for the, the next test that we have there, that is the last one. That should be the last one that we have. This last one that we have here is what we're doing here is that for the last test we have to the word fourth fourth portion. We add um barium chloride barium chloride solution barium chloride solution then what we observe there is that we will have white precipitate white precipitate this white precipitate uh, indicates the presence of Carbon, trisocarbonate ion, and also triazo sulfate for ion, and then you can also indicate the presence of the trace of a cis ion. That is, this all these ions are likely what present. They are likely present in addition of the room chloride. Now, in adding, when you add, if you add dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute hydrochloric to the solution here, added, you will observe that the white precipitates, the white precipitates, the white precipitates is still insoluble. Still insoluble. Since it's still insoluble, the only one among these three that will be insoluble in when dilute uh, hydrochloric acid is added is sulfur. The trace of a cis ion. That means the trace of a cis ion confirmed. Confirmed. Now, what I want to explain here is that in addition of this, all this other one, they are going to be soluble. They will dissolve, but this one cannot dissolve when you add SS, um, when you add dilute hydrochloric acid to that. So this is the uh, the last ion that we have been able to identify here. Note that ammonium sulfate, ammonium F ion, ammonium ferrous sulfate is what reducing agent. That is why we have the potassium uh, uh, dichromates as one of the one of the reagents needed in this in the analysis. Thank you so much for your time.